good morning and welcome to today's upload you might remember if you watched uh, my little super drug haul that i bought this one some hair dye because we're doing world book day today it's postponed um because the kids are at home so they're having it today ethan will have his next week because he's at home because he's bubble burst I'll explain that later, because if you're not from England, you won't know what I'm talking about. So, my name's Emma, make sure you subscribe and stick around for the outfit. So we're going to, we're planning on doing a Violet Beauregard. Yeah. So she's got a blue hoodie on, purple top, blue trousers. And what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to straighten the hair. Yeah. Put it in um, a little, we've got, so we found this, this in Erin's little drawer of bows. It's gone a bit wonky. No, it hasn't. It's fine. So we thought this is a perf perfect little bow on the back. Apart from this, just still want to cut that little bit of thing that's hanging yeah. off. And then I've got all my eyeshadows here. The plan is to do like purple, purpley blue, like it's um, growing out from her nose. And then we're going to put like blue in her hair. And then she's going to have a balloon, like this. So it looks like she's blowing up a big, she's got a big bubble. <laughs> oh God, doesn't it? We think you might, we might need to make it a bit smaller for her So that's the plan. So step one, I'm going to straighten your hair, put the thing in, and then we'll come back. Hair is done. She's got a big bow in the back. So she's kind of a mixture of the old Violet Beauregard from the original film. It had a hair like this. But she had like a fringe um, and then the new Violet Bay Regard, which is going to be the stuff I'm going to do now. So I've got these different eyeshadow palettes. I was a bit annoyed I haven't just got a purple. I've got a purple here. You can't see because this room's a bit yellowy orange. Purple here. We've got purple there. We've got a few purples there. So I'm going to go dark and go light. That's the plan. I'm going to put on sort of like a setting spray first and I'll put a setting spray on after. I'm going to do some shine on it as well. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you trust me? Yes. <laughs> yes, well, let's go. We finished, she's ready. We're just going, going to go and take a little photo outside and then she's off. Um, the blue hairspray, if you're interested in buying blue hairspray colouring, worked well. I will say that she probably, it would work very good on my hair. Yeah. Because my hair is a lot lighter and natural. It said, it said it's not allowed on dyed hair. What do you mean? Well, then it's fine on my hair. If it's not allowed on dye hair, then it's perfect for my hair. My hair is not dyed. My hair is waterfall. Um, <laughs> so we're going to take a photo outside. It looks fun. We've put blue hairspray. We put it on her fingers, so it looks like her fingers are turning blue. Um, and she's got her bubble gum and her book. So we're going to take a photo and actually stand up so I can show everybody what you look like. Here we go. We have the purple growing we have the blue growing as well um she's got a little blue outfit on she's got her book her fingers are starting to turn bluey purple so she's ready to go you look brilliant i am now left with the mess of tidying up and there's blue spray all downstairs so i'm just going to tidy everything up um oh she was so happy when she left i personally would have liked it if there'd been a bit more I could have got a darker purple or I think maybe we should I don't know do you know what she's very happy perhaps I should have put, um used face paints but she's really happy looks really cute as they get a bit older they're not quite so excited about like world book days and stuff like that and Ethan's is next week and he's going as a grandpa I don't have to do any makeup or anything for that he's just gonna have like um dressing gown and pyjamas and we've got him like a little fake moustache so he's fine so I hope she I hope she has a good day uh she was very happy but I will say if you're gonna use those spraying colours that you need much lighter hair for them to work it, her hair is a bit her hair and Erin's hair is quite fair you alright munchkin Ethan's just could you wash your face and hear your teeth please so he's going to wash your face, clean your teeth, and then he's going to log back on to homeschool. So as I was saying earlier, um, I'm on a very squeaky chair. 
in England, I, I, I presume it's the same for the rest of the UK, do let me know in the comments. If you are in a class and somebody in your class um, gets a positive coronavirus test, then your class has to self-isolate for 10 days. We did lateral flow tests and none of us have got it, but to, Ethan has to stay inside. So I can go out, Erin's allowed to go to school, Stephen can go out, but Ethan has to stay in. So he has to self-isolate and he's off until next Friday. So he's home for another week. Um, which is a real shame. Well done, you cleaned your teeth. Uh, so he's going to log on for his teams in a little bit. So I do feel very, very, very sorry for him because he was so happy to be back at school. Um, so it is a real shame, God love him. I love him so much, so yes, that is what's happening here. Right, I'm gonna carry on tidying up and I'm gonna get dressed and get ready for another day of homeschooling. Say so, yeah! No. no, he's like, no. Erin had the loveliest day at school. She's back home now. Um, Ethan loves it when she's back because it means he has some to play with. I had a very lazy day. I showered, but I didn't even do my hair or anything. I just did loads of work. Um, Ethan did some art. And that's how the day went. Um, I took some deliveries of some stuff that I'm hoping to get done this weekend and I'll bring you along with me. Um, or it'll be in a separate video, not sure. Not sure, we'll keep you hosted. Um, I've got some hooks to hang my mugs in my mug cupboard and I also got some little plate hanger things because loads of you suggested to hang those beautiful Disney plates. So those have arrived as well. So that's really good, but what I thought I'd do with you now, Stephen's making some dinner. We're having hot dogs. Friday night classic hot dogs with curly fries. Um, uh, what I am gonna do though, is I am going to, we've got this weird cupboard in our bathroom. It's very strange. One wonders where whoever lived here got this door from. It is bizarre, look, I'll show you. So when we, saw the house i think stephen and i perhaps thought this was also you might hear some wind because there's like a vent thing up there it's like quite loud we thought this was like a heater <laughs> then we got here we were like it's a giant cupboard it's so odd so i'm going to take everything out and i'm going to organize it i want like all the suntan lotions and stuff at the top we've got loads of stuff do you remember when stephen hurt his leg um and that, actually I think that was from when Erin's had a bad knee. So perhaps I want like a shelf with like medical stuff on, then I want a shelf with like, you know, we've got tissues there, tissues there, baby wipes, flash wipes. It's just an apps, a light bulb, obviously. Of course you've got a light bulb. Where else would you keep a light bulb apart from in a weird little cupboard in your bathroom? We have a fish. <laughs> so I am going to tidy this now. I think the first thing I'll do is um i might put in the bath it's got the remnants of a bath bomb in it that needs a good clean we clean the baths we'll clean the bath tomorrow i'm going to put it in little piles on the floor and work out where i am going to put everything i also think i probably need to check the suntan lotions to make sure they are all in date let's go right i've took most of it out i'm going to give it a good clean the shelves needs cleaning oh i want this to go in here as well um i've kind of organized it into like bubble bath shampoos tissues these are like um what would you call it like i don't know what you call it <laughs> stock <laughs> for a shop stuff that we need we don't need now but we'll use in the future a vast amount of medical stuff from stephen's knee that cow park can go somewhere else a bit um that can go in like, the medicine cupboard so there are some bits I can get rid of. So I'm gonna clean it next and then stand on the toilet and go through those. My life is so glamorous. Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. We have the butt, all the medical stuff and the toilet roll and a million packs of tissues because the kids take them into school and um, we like them on days out and holidays and stuff. I've got all the suntan lotions. I didn't go through the sell by date. 
I will do that another day. When I'm getting, when we go anywhere, or when the sun comes out, I will do that. Uh, I've got the shower gels and the hand washes, just bubble baths, shampoos, wipes, Stephen's little pamper area, and then like bath bombs and stuff. So we could even fit some more stuff in here, which I am thrilled about. You know, it just, you know, when things just look organised and clean, it just makes you feel so much nicer, doesn't it? So I'm very pleased about that. Put Ethan's little fish back because he likes playing that with a couple of cars there as well. So when the kids have a bath or, you know, they, there's bubble baths and stuff that they can uh, have a choose from and... I keep my bath bombs upstairs and then I always buy them some. So I, I talked about it in another vlog. So there's like a bunny rabbit one and um, little, little baby baths. Just nearly broke my neck on this. I'm going to go put these away. Job done. And whilst I'm in the vicinity, the plan is we are going to put these hooks up. That I just got, oh, not that one. <laughs> That's what we discovered. We discovered some of them don't fit on there, but then others do so I won't have to have these um, so we're going to put the hooks up there are lots of holes in here so I don't know if somebody's already done it once I'm not sure that they go in line though they just seem really random so we're gonna put those across um, I'm hopefully I'm gonna paint the kitchen and we'll paint this um, and then I did think maybe in the future I could even put like wallpaper but I don't know what's that noise oh it's Ethan playing with a um, what's that called uh, what's it called? A measuring tape. So that's the plan and I shall bring you along. These do not fit in it. Let's try. I don't think these will fit in. No. So the Raydon ones, I might have to be like Raydon along the bottom and then small long ones along the top. But excited to do that. And these are um, to hang. Did I just tell you this? No, these are to hang the plates. Let's try and get you to focus. Come on, focus. Um, these are to hang the plates. You stick it on the back of the plate and then you can hang it on the wall. So the plan is, is to get, um, it's kind of like brown. I don't know, it's kind of brownie in here. So the plan, I think every, Stephen, Every house we've moved to has had a room in this colour at some point, hasn't it? Yeah. It must have been a really popular colour, mustn't it? Yeah, um, and you think it's white, but then when you paint something white, it really isn't white. So we're going to paint the walls white. We're going to hang those mugs. I'm going to hang the plates somewhere. This is going to go in my bathroom, my brummy bathroom. And it's just going to have a bit of a freshen up. I am not a huge fan of this glass back however it is it kind of matches the smeg in the other room so it's not too bad and i think in a few years we will probably get a whole new kitchen don't you think stay yeah. but for now like it's lovely so i shall bring you along with me morning i have worked out i've just measured this and i've worked out that if every 6.5 centimeters we should put a little um hook <clears throat> so i'm gonna go along and measure 6.5 centimeters and put like a little cross and then i think it should be easy to just put them above they have had little holes in before you can see there's loads of holes but they're all like they're not straight <laughs> i don't know what's happened there i just presume perhaps I don't know, there's just loads, it's bizarre, um, but I think the best plan is for me to get all the mugs out and put them on the table in the back, then clean it, and then put the hooks in. Usually this is the kind of thing I would get Stephen to do, but do you know what, I'm going to do it myself today. I've decided, I'm gonna, Stephen's asleep, I'm downstairs with Ethan, like Erin's asleep, it's a Saturday morning, it's not like two o'clock, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm very excited guys, I'm very excited. Yay, it's starting to come together. 
and I'm just putting these in to see, make sure I put them in the right places. I think that's what I probably could have fitted eight in. But that's, you know, let's not worry. So I'm going to put, clean these, put the screws on these and then work out how I'm going to have them. It's very exciting. I do think some of them are going to have to go in storage. And yes. And I think I mentioned yesterday some of the mugs just simply don't fit in because they've got a very ch Oh, I tell you what's going to be not a problem, but sometimes the mugs might have to go the other... Anyway, they might have to go the other way. Mm. Right, let's carry on. Guys, <laughs> I haven't done seven, have I? I've done six. <laughs> There's me again. It could have been eight. No, should have been seven. Ended up a six. <laughs> oh god. Um, I've had to get a little bit of help because the wood here is much softer than these woods. So um, Stephen's come down to have his breakfast and stuff, so he's helping me. Uh, but yeah, I was real, and I think it's because it's above the radiator as well, Stephen. <laughs> I was like sweating. Hooray! So I've got this one's like Cap Kids and Array done. This one, I'm going to need to pull the label off the bottom of that one. This one is, these two match, these two kind of match, these two kind of match. I don't know. I haven't really got many matching Disney mugs apart from like the Cap Kids and ones. So I'm going to, you can make noise, don't worry, Stephen's doing the, uh, the dishwasher. So I'm going to dress this one and then dress the top one. Oh, dressing, I sound very fancy. Da da! Oh my gosh, it makes my eyes so happy. So we've got the Raiden here. Any festive Raiden I've actually put in storage. So uh, our, our um, front room shelves have got storage at the bottom, so that's gone in there. We have Raiden, we have Cap Kids and Disney. We have um, just pure Disney here, and I've tried to match it up in my own strange. Like there's a black one, there's a black one, there's a beige one, there's a beige one. There's a face, there's a face. I've tried to match it up in my own strange way. And all the mugs that I have made over the years, up there. Then we've got some Emma Bridgewater, some like little mugs that I really love that people have bought me. And then we've ended with the Trader Sam's skull. Um, it will be swapped. I have Christmas mugs. Where's the Christmas mugs? I've got Christmas mugs at the top here. So when it's Christmas, I'll swap it when it's Halloween, I'll swap it. Um, I know people are like, where do you keep it all? In the loft, like we have like boxes and then we swap them for seasons. So this will stay like this. I have got a couple of Easter mugs that I will keep out somewhere. Um, but this will stay like this until like Halloween, I think. I really like it. Let's see what it looks like when it's shut. It just looks so much neater. It was like real higgledy piggledy. Polished it all as well. Oh. Why when it shut? What have I done? Is something sticking out? Am I so close? Oh no. Phew. So there it is. Shut. So much tidier than it was. And I have been thinking, but I, I don't know. Let me know what you think because you lot are great at stuff like this. There was a suggestion of perhaps putting some wallpaper backing paper. So it's like this little section's got wallpaper in it, but I think the mugs are so busy and so bright and so random and so they don't match. I think that might not be a very good idea. But let me know what you think. Job done. We are starting the painting white. So that is the color. And when we came in here, you thought, oh, it's white, but then it's not white. In fact, that's actually a completely different colour to this colour, isn't it? This is like, what colour would you call this? Cream. Cream! I wouldn't say this is cream. I don't know what colour, but it's not. That colour's cream. This colour's, I don't know. So my thing is I'm going to take off all this stuff. I'm going to clean it down. And then we're going to work out how to put the, I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? Varnish. Is it a, var is it a varnish? Yeah. Or is it a stain? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Stephen bought it. 
because it's going a bit white here. And any other tips you have how to look after this wood, let me know. Everything has gone, so I'm now gonna clean it. I wiped all the crumbs off it. I'm gonna um, clean it down, make sure it's nice and clean. And then you, I don't know if I need, I don't know if I need gloves. I feel like I might feel better if I have a glove on. So you put some on. And then you go with the grain. Go with the grain. And hopefully, it should be all right. Well, this is the one we're using. Worktop oil, easy wipe on, a natural finish. So that sounds good. Uh, eek. I have done this section. And I don't know if you can tell any different. It is definitely different, actually. It looks even more different on the camera today because there was big white patches here, wasn't there? Yeah. Could you let me know in the comments if you do do this, like how often we should be doing it? I mean, I could Google it, but you know more than me. Oh, it looks so much better on the, um, the camera. It looks really shiny. It doesn't look like that in like real life flesh. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and dry my hair because I had a shower earlier and then I'm gonna come back and finish this, this last little bit. Um, oh, I feel very excited. I feel very pleased uh, with myself actually. I feel very pleased. It looks like we're going to have to put a second coat on um, and I have just gone over some of the little white pa whiter patches are coming through again. Um, very pleased. I think what I'll do when I've done all this was it's drying. I'm going to take all the plants out and give that a good clean. This one here needs a bit of tending to, I think. It's weird because, I don't know, there's like brown bits, but then loads of new bits growing. If you know anything about this plant, let me know. There we go. All nicely, um... It's not varnish, is it? What would you... Work top oil. <laughs> it's all done. Easy on. I'm wondering if I can use it on my um, wood. No, I was gonna, I've got a nice wooden um, table in the living room, but I'm not gonna risk it on there. So it says it is a water-based blend. Um, Dries to a hard, durable and water resistant seal. It adds warmth and depth to all woods and does not leave the surface film to scratch or chip. So there we go. There's a couple of bits that were a bit um, white. But this is dry now and it's, it's nice and dry. So I think what I'll do is move those plants and then give that a clean while this is all drying. Stephen's still painting. Yeah, very good, very impressed. As you can see, one coat of paint is not going to do it. Um, so it's just quickly gonna have once and then it's gonna do a second coat. Hopefully that does it. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> you can if you want, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it till later. Sorry, just a conversation. Um, we, Stephen, put a second coat on and we're leaving it to dry and we think we might, it might need to touch up a little bit. And then I am going to hang the tiki 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 room, the plates that you lot suggested to hang. Do you know what? Hang on, I'm going to get them down. I don't want to do it one handed. I put these in a a vlog a couple of weeks ago or the last I can't remember when it was these are some shop Disney plates and you like were like you must hang those up in the kitchen so I've got these little planner um sorry disc plate hangers which I presume works a bit like a um <laughs> every week I forget the word I presume it works like a 
No, you know they. Oh. The sticky things you stick to the wall. Forget the name every single week. So I'm going to put those up. And also, guys, I think I'm going to paint these some colours. The back. We're thinking. And you know what? This could be something that goes wrong. So let's embrace it. This is something that could not work. But I'm willing to give it a go. We're going to go for pink. We're going to go for yellow. We're gonna go for a blue. And yes, are they incredibly Eastery colours? Yes, yes they are. Will it look a bit strange around Halloween, etc.? Yes, yes it will. But do you know what? The good thing with paint is you can paint it again. Mm. So that's gonna be, um, once it's dried in here and Stephen's done his little touch-up bits, that's gonna be my job. And then I'm gonna put all the plants back and do a little bit of painting. Pink, yellow, blue. I think that'll go quite nice with that bunting. too. And it'll go nice with all the Easter stuff in there and then all those stuff needs to go back on top of there. <sighs> Stephen's been doing this it probably took me about 45 minutes to put the um, stuff on here. So that wasn't too bad at all. 45 minutes an hour. But Stephen has been painting since 7 o'clock, Steve. And it's 1 o'clock. 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Quite a while. So I think he'll be glad to just do these little bits up and then the kids actually have like a online play date so he can perhaps just watch some football while I do the rest of the stuff. But anyway, I'll come back in a bit. Okay, this isn't gonna be as simple as I first thought. You have to put a little bit of water on here and then wait till it goes tacky. And then stick it on. Um and then leave it overnight to dry. So this will, I will have to come back later or tomorrow and show you how to do that. So I'll try one, but I thought it was just something like you stuck on and then it went up, but no, you have to put glue on it. You have to like make it wet. Well, you live and learn. Okay, we've gone for pink at the top. And then we're gonna go for yellow and then we're gonna go for blue. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it, I might have to put a second coat on, but that's what it's looking like so far. Eek. Okay, we have a yellow one. I'll be really intrigued to see, just stop my podcast, my podcast. See what it looks like when we've got the mugs on it. I mean, Stephen, Stephen's like, well, even if it goes a bit wrong, when the cupboards are shut, you can't hugely see anyway, but, um, I think it'll look nice. I think the blue one's gonna look really nice in the bottom because a lot of those mugs have got blue in and the white will really pop. <sighs> Good. Yay, you suggested me to hang the plates. It's a great idea, it's really cute. There's not much room to hang stuff in here actually. We'll put the clock back up there. Stephen's definitely gonna have to go over this little bit. It looks worse on the camera and this is still drying I thought it'd be dry by now but it's it's definitely taking its time so I'm gonna carry on watching telly for another half hour and hope it will dry okay it's pretty much dry now so I'm just going in and adding the mugs and trying to make it match in my own crazy head um, so the blue is still the blue's still not quite dry, but the rest is, so I'll add it all in and, and we can see what we all think. I know there were some suggestions of putting wallpaper, um, but I do think that the wallpaper, the mugs are so jazzy anyway, I think the wallpaper might, if it was all like white mugs, but they're like jazzy mugs, and I know there were suggestions of painting it white, which I'm not adverse to, to be honest. But he asked Stephen and he would like to keep it like this for the minute um, because it's kind of like 
the house is kind of an old house. It's just quite nice to have one little old fun little thing in here. So I'll keep adding everything in and come back to you. Hello my loves, it is the day after we painted. Um, I'm just about to film like a little springy Easter video actually, but I thought now everything's calmed down, I will show you what the cupboards look like and what the white looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to tell much difference with the white, to be honest, but let's go to the white first. If you remember rightly, it was that kind of brown. I, I'm looking at it now, Stephen. I don't even know if it needs even more touching up, but we'll worry about that another day. So it's just nice, clean and white. Um, I was thinking last night, even maybe doing this like a different colour. Let me know what you think. I hung the plates, those little sticky things um, worked well. Let me know if there's another way of doing it, like a command strip version of doing it. But... They seem to be holding up for now. So I hung two there and I hung two over here. This is the final cupboard. Um, as I mentioned, we've got, uh, you would have seen in the previous clips, I think the one pink, yellow, and then blue as chosen by my Kitty Lee Winks. I love the pinks. I think the pink really complements, like a lot of my mugs have got pink in. So they look really nice, like the ones that I make myself. Um, also, if you are new here, I have my own little range of mugs. Um, a lot of these are sold out. In fact, I think we currently only have the Living My Best Life and the World's Best Mom one. We've got some more coming soon. Go and check that out. The link's below. They're really, really big. Then we've got all the Disney mugs. And then we've got my Raiden and Kath Kidson mugs, which so I've shown you all those. But I think it looks really cute. And I'm actually, I've put some flower, some vases on the top as well. Um, some ceramics. If I get any more, I can put them up there. But it looks really nice. It looks really nice. I'm really, 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 really pleased. So thanks for coming on this little interiors journey with us. I'm really, really happy with it. As I say, I'm tempted to put a bit more colour there, actually, because the white very white it's very white um and i have mentioned on my instagram i think i'm gonna try and upcycle my little girl's bedroom drawers um soon any tips for painting wood white let me know i know you i might get some comments that i should paint this white and i was tempted but stephen wanted to keep the originals does it mean i won't paint it white and also stephen i don't think we'd be able to take this off the wall would we no. it's like I don't, I think it's like stuck into the wall, isn't it? It's not, it's not like hanging. So I don't know how I'd do that, but thanks so much for join, uh, joining me this little vlog. I hope you're all safe. Um, we get to have people in our gardens in a few days. So that's really, really exciting. And then um, come back on Sunday and hopefully I'll have like a little springy Easter haul. I love you lots. See you soon. Bye.